Once upon a time, in a faraway land, there was a kingdom called Caprice. The townspeople were ingenious folk who loved modern technological advancements while retaining pride in the more classic traditions as well. These wonderful inventions were created by the brilliant scientist Gloria Wisemind as loving gifts to the people for their welfare and defense. Okay, let's get this done. Watch your eyes now. Oh, <laughs> what am I thinking? You're a robot. That's okay. <laughs> a great silver river flowed along the outskirts of town. It was a magical river that had woven its way through the generations. One of the river's special powers was revealing Caprice's new king by the appearance of a shimmering crown over the reflection of a young child. Once chosen by the river, the new king was required to complete a period of training overseen by the town officials. Follow me! <laughs> Gloria's inventions and the Silver River ensured everyone in Caprice a safe and healthy life. At least until the death of King Frederick, that is. A crown hadn't appeared to any youngster since. And as the years passed, the townspeople began to doubt the wisdom of the river. One afternoon, Yurik and his friend Stasha decided to Yurik. play near the river. <laughs> Yurik, what is this, a shortcut? You'll see. Ugh, stickers! Look! Uh... Uh, uh, don't you like it? Along the banks of the Silver River lived Nigel. What's so interesting, children? Ah! Don't be frightened, children. What do you see? It's a crown. Crown, eh? There's a legend about a boy and a crown. Oh, I know. The river's chosen me to be king. I have to tell the town. Well, before you tell anyone, I know a way that you can make the crown real now. I can become king now? Yes. The river has waited all this time to choose you. If you come in the morning, just before dawn, you will become king. Tossing and turning that night, Yurik could not sleep. In his dreams, he could feel the crown on his head. Now Yurik, understandably, had a hard time accepting that Nigel had purposely misled him and was now a frog and not a future king. Hey, Mrs. D. <coughs> Fear gripped Stasha after witnessing these events. Nothing could make her feel safe. Hey! <coughs> Sheesh. Sorry. Several troublesome years passed. A famine swept throughout the land. The Silver River shrank to a small trickle. True to her generous nature, 
Gloria sent robots to help the townspeople. Reports of her latest invention, an energy ring, provided the latest topic of conversation. One energy ring for everyone, guaranteed. Powerful enough to satisfy your hunger and maintain your youthful vitality. As you can see, the most recent model is featured in three brilliant colors. Line up for some peace of mind. Oh, women and children first, of course. The difficult years had made Stasha more cynical and frustrated, while Yurik grew wiser. Fools. I can't believe these people. Who got to the wise mind? These rings are more likely to enslave the people rather than help them. Hey! I'm hopping here! Wait! The colors are a mistake! They are what they seem! Uh, that's right. Uh, step right up to receive your own, free of charge. I know we're all hungry and tired, but I know this is a mistake. And I, and I for one should know about mistakes. Remember our great King Frederick? He warned us about taking shortcuts. I mean, I didn't listen, but I know he was right. Look what happened to me. Enough! <laughs> Will you listen to this slimy frog and reject the newest resource to provide your family a better life? These energy rings have been tested and approved by Gloria Wisemind herself. Who's with me? <laughs> You've got to stop pulling stunts like that, Yurik. You're a frog if you haven't noticed. We're unpopular enough as it is. If only we could get back to the Silver River where this all started. Or we find Gloria and figure out what she's doing. Either way, we need transportation. Look, there's Casper. Maybe he can help. Energy rings. Energy rings? Who needs energy rings? I've got my blackberry pie. Casper, I'm so glad we found you. We need a lot of help. Can you help us find the last of the Silver River? Yeah, 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 the, oh, the berries, are, they're so sweet, and the... Casper! Oh, and that crust, that sugary crust, oh, yeah. Casper! Can you help us find the Silver River or not? Really? We don't need him, just the horse! <laughs> okay, listen. My horses and I will give you a ride to the river, but you're going to get me a new blackberry pie. They are heading towards the river. Don't let them escape! Switch your power to flight mode. Use your G-clusters if necessary. Yes, Valor. <laughs> So you don't think anything odd is going on? No, I'm just trying to mind my own business. Hey! Good luck with that. Your top priority is that pie, so don't blow it. it it's the spiders! And they're flying! Let's, let's get out of here! Get up! <clears throat> What's the problem? The Mythos doesn't understand. I think he understands. What? what? What is happening here? Take this, you bucket of bolts! Mm -hmm. What is wrong with her? Let go! Just let it go! We better come up with something soon. Ah! 
crap those? You knuckle-headed nimwit. <laughs> It's working! King Frederick? <laughs> Why me? A very appropriate remark in the light of the situation. I felt very much the same way when I was your age. You were turned into a frog too? <laughs> no. Why would Nigel trick me? After my long reign, I died, as we all must. All the villages mourned, then went down to the river to see who would be their new king. Mysteriously, it revealed no one, or so they thought. But lost? And unobserved, a young orphan boy, Nigel, saw the crown in his reflection, as you had. But he was astonished and frightened into long years of silence, during which the villagers began to question the wisdom of the river, as Nigel withered under the passage of time. So did the watery image of the crown which darkened. He grew more and more desirous of the power that he had been too afraid to accept. Then, one day, instead of his own face reflected in the river, Nigel saw the evil face of the Fowler. It was shown to him that he would gain mighty evil power if he looked into the river at the same time, the river revealed the next young king. And you saw what happened. Is there any way to reverse this horrible curse? Yes. The Fowler must see his own reflection in the waters before the drought-struck river dries up. And what if he doesn't? Darkness. Evil. And pestilence will rule the land forever and all time. I knew you were going to say that. I can't do this. No one listens to me. I just hop around and eat flies. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> it will be a challenge. Wait, don't go. Please don't go. I must. Ah, oh, nuts. I guess this is the last of the river. You heard King Frederick. It's the only way to stop the curse. We've got to find a way to make the Fowler see his reflection. I guess. Are you scared? I... I can't even remember what I used to look like. I remember. <laughs> I love to create, I like to make Something that is useful and good and not harmful How can it be that people like me Work so hard but have so much fun? Sometimes it's confusing, often it's amusing Sometimes I make a horrendous flaw but never fear, perseverance lives here. With inspiration and dedication, I will never stop because... How can it be that people like me work so hard but have so much fun? We get satisfaction from a job well done. Yes! Well, that's another batch of 45 spiders. Excellent. Now, a chariot. I'd like it hitched to four spiders so that I can reach even more people and help them survive this horrible famine. Oh, what color would you like the chariot? I get to pick the color? What is my favorite color? 
What? I mean, sure. Do as you wish. All right, you two. Break it up. What is your problem, Slimy? Just... just knock it off. What is this? Hello? It's madness! What the? She lost her mind. Were you attacked by the Fowler? You know, big, tall guy, black cap, chrome eyes? The Fowler. Is that his name? I curse the day he's ever killed up. Curse? Funny you should say that. My master Gloria has always helped anyone who came to the door. First, it was a bird who needed a wing. Then there was a dog in need of a leg. No matter who knocks on the door, she always helps. One night, there was a knock at the door. A cloaked man had appeared and told Gloria that a feminine had struck. He said he wanted to help. He creeped me out. <laughs> but Gloria didn't seem to mind. She wanted to help everyone. So she struck a deal with the stranger. She, she created a new recipe to speed up the process. It didn't run machines like me. Gloria abandoned the old energy. <laughs> she didn't see me anymore. The spiders threw us out. We were left to us. She thinks she is saving everyone? It's madness, I say. She's lost her senses. Okay, look, listen. Look, I'm done. They need our help. You can't help? It's a waste of time. It's not my problem. Mythos, Pranthos, let's go. We're done. Come with us. We have no energy. All I can do is rest. Hello? Hello? They don't even talk. I just want people to be normal again. Happy faces, smiling, playing. We have you now. Did you not think I knew that you were coming? Did you think I did not know about the water? You're destroying our whole kingdom. Too much weakness. I need everyone to do what I say. You could have been king. You can stop this madness, Nigel. The Fowler still doesn't have control. I am going to be king now. No! Look, you've, you've done enough to destroy my life. Good idea. Time to finish this. No. No! Can't you see you've scared her enough? Fear is for weaklings! Yay! Don't leave me, Eric. Whoa! Hey, guys! Hey! No, 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 hey! Hey! Whoa! 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 Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh. Is that blood? Okay, I'm bleeding. Oh! Ah! All right! Ah! All right! All right. What do you want me to do? All this stuff, all this stuff you're, that you're doing, it's, it's like the opposite of what you think it is. <laughs> Hi, come on over and...
and join me in a song. Wait, what? What is all this? Don't your teeth hurt? You're alive! Ah! Uh, I don't don't make me pass out. and Pranthos, am I happy to see you? <laughs> Casper! You came back! I got these guys. Take care of Gloria. She's nuts! You're under a bunch of lies. What? The Fowler used all of your skills for evil. I'm the people. <coughs> no! No! What? No, it stops now. This is stopping. Looking for me? Because when I get angry, there is no going back. in all this. I... The famine! A man named Nigel was supposed to be king. He didn't tell anybody. Now he's under the dark influence of the Fowler. And I've become a frog because of him. A talking frog? Because of my inventions? Uh, I, I'm so, so sorry. Gloria, I understand. But believe me when I tell you, sorry isn't gonna fix this. The Silver River has completely dried up. Finally, the kingdom is mine. <laughs> I need the power before the ugly guy came along. Oh, of course. Okay, my little pretties. We'll send a legion of them out there to finish him. Look, Gloria, as tempting as that is, no shortcuts. Well, wait, how are you even going to do this? We don't have any water. You heard King Frederick. It's the only way to stop the curse. We've got to find a way to make the Fowler see his reflection. Apparently, I have really good ears. Because right before I passed out, I heard the sound of dripping water. Hey! Over there. Gloria, I'm gonna have to borrow these goggles. Are, are you shaking? Stop that! Silver water might fall out. Can you even see out of those? I'm a frog! We're in trouble! We're in trouble! Big Red, hit the air brakes! Yeah. Ah, I'm so done with this teeth chattering thing.
Oh, well done, Yuri. Yurik? Is that you? Yurik? Yurik, are you... Ah, good lord, put some clothes on! Ah. I... you... a frog. But all those years... It's okay. We did it. We defeated the Fowler. And you helped me. Come here. Let's go home. With the death of the Fowler, the people of Caprice realized how foolish they had been to believe that energy rings could give them the same satisfaction as work. Hey! Let's go to town and... Wait a minute. Gloria Wisemind learned to use discretion in the technologies she created. You're a robot. I'm going to town to get some ice cream with my friends. Casper never took the good things of life for granted again. He began to care for and protect the kingdom and its way of life, especially the bakery. Let's keep up the quality here, people. Oh my. Yurik and Stasha became king and queen. They ruled with great skill from all the lessons they had learned. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, I'm coming. There we go. That should do it. Hey, let's get the show on the road. Are we all clear? <laughs>